Hello and welcome to this DVD. And in this video we start in 3D Max, we create the high res, take in the mud box, uh, render out uh, ambient occlusions and normal maps out of Max, and then we texture it all in Photoshop. And the final result will be inside Unreal Editor 3. So the final product you can see here, uh, I tried to make it to where you can see all of the details really close. Like in a first person shooter, if you have to get really close to it, you can see it holds up pretty well. And I go over how to tint the paint so you can get different variations on the same textures. And this can be good uh, to break it up in the, in the game. This is an asset that I personally ended up using a whole lot on um, in production in a couple games. Uh, these broken up rubble pieces can be used over and over in different ways and can be very valuable. That's why I chose it for this DVD because it's so uh, versatile in all kinds of different games with minor tweaks. And a lot of these techniques can be translated to almost any next-gen game engine or even any 3D package. I kept everything uh, fairly straight to the point and I didn't use a lot of scripts or uh, special uh, proprietary techniques. Uh, this should be something that anyone can pick up and incorporate into their workflow or um, or their existing game engine. You can see we end up with a Diffuse pillar texture, a uh, channel texture, and in the channel texture is packed the uh, mask for the tent and also a spec tile. And we have a normal map and also a normal map tile that goes along with the spec and a specular map. So that's all we really use. And in the material parent, we end up having a very basic shader that ends up getting tweaked a little bit to give a little bit more control over different aspects. You can see what we have going here. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully everyone gets a lot of valuable information out of here and it can help inspire some people to try some of the next gen stuff. Or if you're an experienced uh, next-gen artist, you could probably find a couple tricks that I do here and there. So I hope you get a lot out of it, and I hope you enjoy the video.